Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted and in this video I've got a couple of new products to show you that we are really excited about. The first is we've now got Cardi papers in stock, which if you've ever, ever used them before, you know they are beautiful handmade papers. This I'm going to use in a demonstration today is the gorgeous Saffron Locta paper. It's a beautiful colour. These papers are made in Nepal and they're absolutely gorgeous. You can see there's a lot of natural texture in them. So they're fantastic for adding extra interest and colour into your prints. We've also got some neutral colours, but today I'm going to use the saffron one because it's so warm and sunny. I love it. And the other product that I want to show you, and I'm actually going to use them together, is the mini ball bearing baron. Some of you will know that we have been stocking a couple of different ball bearing barons for a while now and we've just got hold of this smaller one which is absolutely beautiful. You use it by putting your fingertips underneath the strap, the strap's quite tight, you just get your fingertips underneath and then you rub it all over the back of the print like you would use a baron. These ball bearings are pressure points and help get a really beautiful even print very easily. So. Today I'm going to show you a relief print onto this lovely Lockter paper. I'm going to use a standard bamboo baron to take a print. I'm also going to take a print using the ball bearing baron, which will take a smoother print and get more even inking over that surface. In front of me I've rolled out some Cranfield Caligo ink in red. I'm using a blue handled soft rubber roller there and I've got one of our lino blocks this is carved onto traditional lino we've used this one a lot so it's pretty well used so here I've cut a piece of this lovely saffron lockta you can see that there is a beautiful deckled edge along one side I've chopped this with a guillotine so I've got three straight edges but if you wanted to, um, you could tear the paper instead of chopping it. It's got one side that is a little bit rougher, and one side is a little bit smoother. So you could use whichever side you want, depending on the kind of look you want. You'll get a more even print on the smoother side, usually. Just going to lay that down, and then I'm going to use a, a piece of greaseproof paper over the top. And then I've just got my classic bamboo baron here. Now these papers are quite thin, so you'll see that the ink has started to come through like you do with thinner papers. Peel it back. And here we have my print. So you can see there's a little bit of texture from the paper, not a lot. It's still, we've got a really lovely, fairly even print there. In these papers, you can get little fibers and things that are more prominent than others. So those might feature in your work. Those might not pick up ink as well. So bear that in mind when you're using these papers for your work. So even though these papers have got a little bit of texture in, they're nice and thin. So that makes relief printing with them very easy because I'm not having to exert a lot of pressure on these at all. So they're actually really satisfying to work with, especially if you've got a little stuck with some of the thicker papers. For relief printing, you'll find it's harder to take a print. These ones are really satisfying and actually quite quick. So now I've re-inked my block, I've got another sheet of paper, paste the grease proof back over the top and then this time I'm going to use this lovely ball bearing baron. So you just pop your fingertips underneath the strap, hold it like this in your hand. And here is my print, really beautifully even, nice and bold and strong. The final way I'm going to take print on this Lockty paper is by using our Avic etching press. Now you can use a relief press too if you want. I'm going to use this etching press. I've got a pair of lino runners in either side and I've got the roller down touching on the runners. Pop my lino down here, rest my paper on top. 
Then I'm just popping a sheet of newsprint on top and I'm going to roll it through the press. I'm not using any blankets. And here is my print made with the etching press. Really bold, very even. You can see it's come through to the other side. Here. But it is a beautifully crisp print, even though we're working on a slightly textured paper. So that is one of our new Cardi papers. This is a Saffron Locta, printed using three different relief printing methods all of which have produced absolutely beautiful results. We've got lots of colours and types of the Cardi paper available on the website, handprinter.co.uk, so please do go and have a look. We've also got that new size of Ball Bearing Baron on the website too. It prints so beautifully and it's a really good alternative if you haven't got the space or budget for a press. So head over to the website, let us know if you need any help with any more projects. Happy printing!